So I've ridden a recumbent bicycle for over 15 years now. Now one thing I have always been fairly certain of is that recumbents can't jump ramps. First, the rider cannot stand up to absorb the impact. Second, the rider lacks the ability to apply side-to-side -side force to correct before landing. Third, at my size, let's just say I'm pretty certain the frame was never designed for that kind of stress. Going airborne on that bike just always seemed like a recipe for road rash and is something I have generally avoided. That is until recently. I was trying out a new bike path near our home and I had a nice tailwind going. At one point I was at the 23 mile per hour mark and I was feeling pretty good. If you ride at those speeds you learn to be a little leery of short ramps and intersections on bike paths because of those I generally avoid bike paths like that to begin with. An angled piece of concrete ramp that may seem like a convenience at 10 mile per hour turns into a possible disaster at 20 miles per hour. After crossing the first intersection at a decent clip, I felt the designers had done an excellent job with their chosen ramp angle and accepted that the rest would be the same. I took full advantage of the tailwind and decided to shift gears and give it all I had. The last intersection I crossed held a surprise that I would spot way too late. The angle of the last ramp was incredibly different from the others. Its angle was significantly higher than the ones I'd already gone across. I, I hope you can see where this is going. I discovered that what I had generally assumed impossible given the right combination of conditions turned into something quite plausible. While my time in the air was minimal and the vertical distance was assuredly in the neighborhood of a few inches, I was indeed airborne on my recumbent. My landing was uneventful and I neither crashed or bent anything that I figured out yet anyway. But what I did prove was that my preconceived notions were wrong. I could indeed get air on a recumbent bicycle. We go through life with self-imposed limitations and restrictions. There are things that we believe impossible. There are things that God calls us to that we say we can't. We constantly put up stop points and limit what God wishes to work through us. We tend to focus on what could happen if we fail while never giving God the opportunity to succeed. Like Moses, we believe that we aren't good enough. Like Rebecca, we think we're too old. Like Thomas, we just can't believe the truth. I got air on a recumbent bike, stuck the landing, didn't break anything, and the bike didn't wipe out afterwards. These are all things I thought impossible until that day. What impossibility is God calling you to? That's something to pray about, don't you think? Thanks for watching. Exploring the elements of faith can be a lifelong pursuit. Knowing what questions to ask can be the hard part. If you like what you saw here in this video, be sure to like and subscribe on YouTube or like and follow on my Facebook page. My goal is to have a new video uploaded every week. More importantly, I'd love to hear from you. Share your thoughts with me about what the video means to you, or if you have a faith question or video suggestion, send me a message about it. I'm not going to tell you that I have all the answers, but I seriously enjoy the exploration process, and especially with others. In addition to YouTube and Facebook, you can also find me on Twitter and Instagram, or my written blog on Tumblr by searching at Rev Chris Hall. Please feel free to share this video if you think someone else could benefit from it, and thanks for watching.